Well, if you're wondering, you're right. That is a great white shark. Climate change means that the sharks are now being found further north than before, prompting a team of American researchers to carry out some trapping and tagging off of Lunenburg, Nova Scotia this week. Our CBC's Brett Ruskin braved the journey and landed a spot on board. So this is the O-Search ship. It's formerly an old crab fishing vessel that's been converted and added this specially designed lift here. It is custom made, able to go into the water, lower down the shark swims onto that lift, then the shark gets lifted out of the water. Okay, we have the acoustic tag ready. There's about 18 different projects going on at the same time, and so all the science team is getting prepped. Scientists surround the shark. Some take notes, some watch the clock. Only 15 minutes on the platform, water pumped through a hose. Experiments start even before the shark is released. But O-Search's methods have been criticized by some in the industry. They use power tools to attach tracking beacons. Putting the tag on its dorsal fin, it never even moves, right? It's kind of like uh, clipping your fingernails or your toenails or something. Certainly way less than an ear piercing. But their research does produce results. Take a look at this. You've never seen anything like it because no one has. For the first time, an ultrasound was taken this week of a beating great white shark heart, estimated at just 10 beats per minute. And the up-close access even lets reporters pet the sharks, skin silky smooth in one direction, sandpaper in the other. Then it was back in the water and out to sea with one final glimpse of a fin. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, off the coast of Lunenburg County, Nova Scotia.